Welcome back to our channel, where we provide you with the latest tips and information on keeping the air in your home clean and fresh. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that often confuses some owners. Air scrubbers versus air purifiers. Many people wonder which option is best for improving in the air quality. Well, fear not, in this video, we'll compare these two devices and help you make an informed decision. Let's get started. When it comes to powerful filtration, air scrubbers are hard to beat. These devices are designed to remove a wide range of airborne particles, including dust, pollen, pet dander, mold spores, and even harmful volatile organic compounds. Air scrubbers use a combination of filters and sometimes UVC light technology to effectively trap and eliminate these pollutants from the air. They are particularly beneficial for people with allergies, asthma, or respiratory sensitivities. Air purifiers, on the other hand, offer a range of filtration options to suit different needs. Some models use HEPA filters, which are highly effective and capturing tiny particles, while other incorporates activated carbon filters to reduce odors and absorb harmful gases. Additionally, some air purifiers utilize ionizers or electrostatic precipitators to change particles and remove them from the air. Air purifiers can be a versatile solution for various indoor air quality concerns. If you are undergoing construction or renovation in your home, air scrubber can be a valuable tool. These devices excel at removing dust, debris, and chemical fumes that are often released during construction activities. Air scrubbers create negative air pressure, pulling in air from the surrounding environment and filtering it before releasing it back into the room. This process helps contain and minimize the spread of airborne contaminants during construction or renovation projects. Air purifiers are designed for continuous air cleaning and are typically meant to be used on an ongoing basis. They work silently in the background, quality removing pollutants from the air. With various sizes and coverage capabilities available, air purifiers can be used in bedrooms, living rooms, offices, and even larger spaces. They help maintain a consistently clean and healthy indoor environment, reducing the presence of allergens or other irritants. Air scrubbers are often more portable and temporary solutions compared to air purifiers. They are commonly used in specific areas or rooms that require immediate and intensive air cleaning. For example, if you have experienced a water leak or flooding, using an air scrubber in the affected area can help eliminate mold spores and prevent mold growth. Once the issue is resolved, air scrubbers can be easily moved to another location or stored away until needed again. Air purifiers are often considered a long-term investment for monitoring clean and healthy indoor air. They can be integrated into your HVAC system or placed strategically in different rooms to provide whole house or targeted air purification. While the initial cost may be higher compared to air scrubbers, air purifiers typically require less maintenance and offer ongoing air cleaning benefits. They can be an excellent choice for those looking for a consistent and reliable solution. Well, air scrubbers are powerful devices ideal for construction or renovation projects where dust, debris, and chemical fumes are concerned. They offer intense filtration and temporary portability. On the other hand, air purifiers provide versatile filtration options, continuous air cleaning, and are considered a long-term investment for maintaining clean indoor air. Ultimately, the choice between air scrubbers and air purifiers depends on the specific requirements of your situation. That's all for today's video. We hope this comparison between air scrubbers and air purifiers has provided you with valuable insights. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful content. As always, feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.